everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Top 5 Wednesday and today's prompt is um, Top 5 Favorite Urban Fantasy Books. The first book I want to talk about is um, it's part of a series called The Others by Anne Bush Bishop and this book is number 3. It is called um, Vision in Silver and I know I've talked about these books before but these are some of the only books that I have that I have reread. They really they really touch me on an emotional level. Vision and Silver deals with um, it deals with rape. It deals with uh, infanticide. Infanticide, basically, when you mass murder a bunch of infants. Um, but anyway, it's like I said, it's a, it's a really emotional novel. Um, but yeah, good book. Anyway, okay. Number two um, is also another series. It's um, the Cassandra Palmer series by Karen Chance. And the book that I really like is book number eight, Ride the Storm. Um, it's the most recently released book. And it just deals with Cassie and just everything kind of... Everything kind of comes to a close, but there's still some unresolved things that we're... That I'm hoping will you know, be resolved in book number nine, or I'm not quite sure how many books are going to be in this series, but it's really, really good. It's really, like, it's really fast-paced. Like, once Cassie gets in a, a problem or a situation, you know, it's just, like, like, zoom, zoom, zoom through and there, and it's just, just good. Number three, The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. Um, I don't have one favorite book out of all of them because it has been a really long time since I've read them but I still remember Harry and you know him, him being a wizard and just dealing with I think it's in Chicago right uh, uh, you know helping helping with um, the police in Chicago and you know there's um, the summer summer court or something like that um, with like the fae and vampires and everything it's just, it's really really wonderful urban fantasy and I really really wish book number nine would come out I've been waiting for years many people have been waiting for years um yeah maybe eventually we'll get it but they're, they're good books number four the dark hunter series by Sherilyn Kenyon specifically book number 22 I believe uh, sticks so he was basically done wrong like sticks was done so wrong and he was locked away on this island and like people by Athena I believe and then people would like you know bring him food and everything and then one day they just stopped and so he had to like survive for like what was it like a thousand years or something like, like thousands of years or something like that and you know like he he was gonna get married um and his his wife she was like a goddess of two different the Egyptian and the Greek pantheons she, you know she was a member of both and Bethany and she um she was pregnant and she you know she had the infant ripped out of her stomach for somebody else to raise and she was turned to stone and then you know Styx doesn't know anything and he was just done wrong he was done so wrong he was blamed for stuff that really was just out of his control and it it really it really got to me I really I'm, I'm a stick supporter, so. And then book number five, um, another series, um, Immortals After Dark by Cresley Cole. Book number eight, Untouchable. So it deals with Danny. She is half Ice Fae and half Valkyrie, and literally anyone who touches her, they just end up in excruciating pain. And a vampire named Murdoch, basically, he falls in love with her. So when, in, in this world, when a vampire finds his, his, like, true mate or whatever, like, their heart starts beating again. Um, and that's how they know when, basically, they, they have found the one. So his, you know, his heart starts beating again, and they have to figure out, like, how, how is this going to work? Um, and also the... Ice Fae are trying to kill Danny, um, so they gotta deal with that too. Alright, that's it for my top five uh, favorite urban fantasy novels. Um, yeah, they're kind of a bunch of older ones. Yeah, a bunch of kind of older ones, but it is what it is, right? Um, if you like this video, please make sure you to hit the like button and maybe consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you later.